Very cold air is returning to parts of the Northern Hemisphere. You've probably seen the headlines. Is it a polar vortex collapse? Is it not? Does it matter? It will get cold for parts of Eastern Canada and Northern Europe as we head into the middle of March. But where's the cold coming from? That's what's getting confusing. The polar vortex is the air that circulates over the North and South Poles. It's always there, but it exists pretty high up in the sky, 15 to 50 kilometers in the layer we call the stratosphere. It's the layer above the troposphere where most of our weather is at. Sometimes this vortex gets knocked down or stretched to lower latitudes, especially during something called a stratospheric warming event. That's a super ominous and scientific way to say rapid warming in that upper layer. In fact, sometimes this rapid warming is so disruptive, it reverses the normal counterclockwise direction of the vortex and winds start blowing clockwise. This only happens once every couple of years. But how can a disruption way up in the Arctic stratosphere affect the winds and weather far below in the troposphere? When we get this reversal of winds up high, sometimes it can act like a barricade for the wind at lower levels. You get sort of crashing waves happening vertically and horizontally in the atmosphere. So yes, sometimes these big warming events high in the Arctic can lead to deep freeze outbreaks for Canada and Europe. And it goes the other way too. Sometimes big warming events at the surface can translate all the way up into the stratosphere, but not always. Sometimes the lower level Arctic air spills down on its own without this crazy warming event needed, or sometimes the crazy warming event happens, but our jet stream does its own thing anyway. The layers do interact, but as you've probably guessed by now, it gets very complicated. And that's why there's always a bit of hesitation from scientists, myself included, when we hear the term polar vortex outbreak in connection to our weather. So what's the case right now? Well, there are some signs in the forecast models that we may see a massive warming event for the polar vortex, and the winds may even reverse, but it's not for sure. And even then, we don't know for sure what that will mean for the lower levels of our atmosphere, AKA our weather. But we do know that this is an area of research scientists are really interested in right now, especially when it comes to climate change and how the different layers of our atmosphere are responding to all this extra heat.